ok, let's just say that you need a monitor. But in the same time, you want to show your life with, I don't know, to a friend, to a family member, or to a client after all. That means you would need multiple monitors and option to connect them. Plus, you would need very long, long cables. There is just too much of a cost. And almost impossible solution. While I was searching on internet, I came across with CineEye. Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Denis and today we will take a closer look to a wireless image transmission from Exxon. CineEye is a very interesting device. It actually translates your HDMI to wireless image to your phone or tablet through Exxon application. And that means you won't need multiple monitors for your friends, family or clients. All they need is to have application on their phone and get connected to CineEye. I will go in details about that in a moment. But before that, let's see some interesting information. The device itself don't need any extra battery, since it have 3500 mAh battery inside of it and the battery can last up to 3.5 hours with only one smartphone connected to the device. But even that's not the limit, because we have USB-C here and we can charge it on the go via power bank. The LED logo tells us if it's connected or not and here are the four dots that represent the battery status. 1 means 25%, 2 means 50% and so on up to 4 dots with 100%. You can connect CineEye directly to camera or via monitor, of course if monitor have input and output of HDMI. For that I'm still recommending one of the cheapest touchscreen monitors with LUTs capability from Andesin, A6+. You can check my review about this monitor in the cards or by clicking the link in the description below. And since I mainly bought CineEye for my clients to get video feed and I have Sony camera, well, we all know when you connect HDMI to Sony, the screen goes black when you press the record. Therefore, you need some closed source. And that's why I have combination like this. I'm going from camera to monitor and from monitor I'm going to CineEye, which goes directly to my application. And how it actually works. It is very easy to connect to your camera as it comes with three different cables. One is micro HDMI, another is mini HDMI and the third is full HDMI sized cable. After connecting CineEye and camera with correct cable, you need to turn on camera and CineEye and wait until logo on CineEye stop blinking and become static white. Little later we will talk about what can be wrong if you see the red logo like this one. After that, you open Exxon app as I presume that you already have it. Go to CineEye and first you need to connect to Wi-Fi and after that to the monitor in the app. And that's it. Depending on camera that you use, you will also need to set up the HDMI settings. With Sony camera for example, you will need to go in the HDMI settings and set the HDMI resolution to auto, as long as you are recording in full HD or let's say if you are taking photographs. But in case if you are going in 4K, let me set on the 4K, that means we will have to go back inside the HDMI settings and set to 1080p. There we go. And now when we are connected, we can dive in into application. Application offers everything that your camera offers you and even more. As you can see, display is totally clean. And it's like that until you press on it. Ta-da! First of the quick menu is the waveform. I mean, many cameras don't have waveform. You can either use waveform in white or RGB mode. Editors will know where I'm pointing that. <laughs> Next to the waveform are grey and RGB buttons for checking the exposure for these colors. Inside the focus you can choose four different colors for focus picking and of course the picking level. Another tool to check the exposure is the false color which chart on the left side of your smart device. And since we have all these tools to check the exposure, here is also Zebra. Of course when you turn one of the exposure tools, it only works with one and not multiple. And that kinda makes sense. Almost the last one inside the quick menu is LUT. With double tap. The LUT menu will open and here you can put your own LUT to see how the video will looks like with LUT. You have three of them F preset or you can upload any custom LUT by your choice. Inside the three dots menu there are extended settings like center marker to be on or off, save marker where you can set the save zone and the part that must be included in the video, ratio marker that depends on what ratio you want to make video of, pick the color of the center marker, marker size 
zoom in settings, which by the way, you can zoom even with finger speech in or out. In case if you are using an amorphic lens, you can see how the video would look like when it's squeezed in post-production, transparency and some Wi-Fi settings. At the end, we have color range that shows us difference between video and full color range. Whew, so many settings. Now before we continue with distance and signal quality, I must mention something else. Something for Sony users. Mmm, this will be nice. In order to record camera display, like settings for example, or if you want to show to your audience something that you're doing on your camera, you need the external monitor, right? And those are expensive. Well, not anymore. Cine I have integrated record button of the screen, which also give us option to record everything what we are doing on the camera. By that I mean menu settings, or of course the display itself with all the information that you can see on the Sony cameras. It's a little limited to 1080p or photography mode, but that's again the limit of the Sony cameras and not do it to Cine I. Now at the end of the review, one very important part, and that's the signal ratio between Cine I and your phone. On a paper it says that signal can go up to 100 meters in open area without any interference. This in reality means little different, depends on where you use it. I've worked with it in abandoned building without any problem, where in area where I live I can't achieve the same result, but I'm still very satisfied with it. We need to understand that more wifi signals and more electricity means less distance from the device. All of this in one little box. I think that CineEye is the perfect solution for multiple situations. You need wireless transmission, here comes CineEye. You need screen recorder for your camera, here comes CineEye. And with that my friends, we came to the end of this video. Thumbs up if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet, and until the next time, stay in love. Peace!